What's the word, ladies and gentlemen? This is Andrew, and today's episode of Is It Worth It? We'll be talking about the Dirty Bomb Mercenary Vasily. That's right, guys. We'll be reviewing the Sniper Mercenary Vasily, going through the general information regarding his stats, abilities, overall playstyle, and whether or not he is worth buying with either 30k credits or $7 cash. So, first off, Vasily is of the Recon class, and with it he gets more of like an agile build with a health pool of 100, but slightly above average movement speed of 420. Now, his ability is the Heartbeat Sensor, which will spot or mark enemies, giving them like an orange-red triangle above their head, allowing friendlies to easily see where the enemy is. Now, the enemy will also show up on the minimap as well. Now, for weapons, Vasily has access to two bolt-action rifles, the MOA Sniper 1 and the Felix, and uh, he also gets access to a semi-auto sniper rifle, the PDP-70. Now, any of these weapons are perfectly usable. If you enjoy one-shot headshotting people and you have great aim then either of the bolt actions would do the job just fine but if you're like me and you don't nearly have as good of aim with sniper rifles I definitely am not that great with sniper rifles the PDP 70 is a bit easier to use and you can still absolutely decimate people as well now for secondaries this is where it gets interesting for our friend Vasily he's probably got my favorite selection of secondaries so Vasily his secondaries are the S&W revolver the Tolan MP and the MP400. All these secondaries are fine, but I'll have to say that the machine pistols are pretty nice and a bit more reliable in winning one vs. ones versus people with automatic weapons. Now, the revolver is quite a bit tougher to pull it off if you get caught in a bad situation, so bear that in mind. Now with the machine pistols, I feel like I can be a bit more aggressive in close quarter situations with these. Um, between the two, I think the Talon has a bit less DPS than the MP400 overall. But, you know, like I like the Talon a lot better just because it looks cooler and it feels a bit better than the MP400 if that makes sense. But it really comes down to personal preference. Uh, I'll probably do a full comparison between all of the MPs later on. As far as augments, Vasily is very fortunate in that most of the augments he can choose from are all quite good. The ones that really stand out to me are Focus, Spares, and Spotter, but Guardian Angel and Bomb Squad are pretty good as well. Anyways, so Vasily's Heartbeat Sensor is an interesting ability. The cooldown is 20 seconds for the ability itself, but the sensor will last for 17 to 18 seconds, which means there's like a 2 to 3 second blind spot with this ability. It also has a decently sized area of effect, like a circle shape around the sensor that can be thrown quite a distance. Now, the one very interesting thing though is that it will also detect enemies on the vertical plane as well. So instead of just like a circle of detection around the initial point, it's more of like a cylinder if that makes sense because you can kind of detect people on different floors if you're standing on a higher floor. Now I see a lot of Vasily players just waste the sensor and while I'm definitely not a pro at Vasily, I think I do have some interesting tips for you guys regarding heartbeat sensor placement. So for me, I like to place it in corners or behind doors so that if the enemy wants to find and kill it, they really have to look for it and be vulnerable in the process of finding it. Um, I also like to put it on hotspots to cover multiple entryways to maximize its coverage. So for example, on the uh, on terminal, the first objective, you can see me placing it right near that crate because it'll cover that balcony entrance as well as the hallway downstairs. That way I am completely covered and my team will see people coming no matter what entrance they are coming through. Now, this is just sort of like a long-winded answer to the question, is Vasily worth buying? Well, for 30,000 credits or $7 USD, he's pretty cheap to get, you know. However, sniping is a pretty difficult skill to get the hang of. I'm definitely not a great sniper by any means, and I feel like Vasily's playstyle is pretty unique and really depends on the individual. That plus the fact that most people will hate it if half their team are snipers because as a sniper, your main role is to kind of kill people. Hopefully you can kill people if you're a good shot, as well as doing some recon with your sensor. Now, you know, beyond that, Vasily has very little utility beyond that, right? I mean, he can't drop ammo, he can't revive people. I mean, I guess he can, but he doesn't have defibrillators, so bear that in mind. 
So, should you buy Vasily? Well, if you enjoy sniping, or if you're good at sniping, or if you're interested in sniping, you know, Vasily is a very fun class to play. He's cheaper than most mercenaries. Uh, you know, for all these reasons, I would say yes, then buy him. But if sniping isn't really your thing, I highly doubt any team will yell at you for not playing as a sniper, you know? So it really comes down to playstyle, but if you're even interested in sniping, since he's the only sniper, I would recommend him as a purchase. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Smash that like button if you did, and if you're new to the channel, check out some of my other content. I do loads of dirty bomb tips, tricks, guides, reviews, you name it. Uh, I think that just about wraps up this video, so I hope to see you guys in the next episode.